Paul was in a shipwreck. We know that the angel of the Lord visited with Paul, and Paul told the guards, the soldiers, all that are in the ship, that you've got to stay in the boat. You've got to stay here in this boat. I exhort you to be of good cheer. For there shall no loss of any man's life. There shall be no loss of any man's life among you. But of the ship. The ship's going to go down. The ship's going to be broke apart. The ship's going to be wrecked. But there's going to be no loss of life among us. Amen. Hallelujah. And he said, Sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe God, that it shall be even as it was told me. We know that Paul had been arrested, and Paul was being brought on a a journey, sailing journey. And we know that old King Agrippa, he almost, he said, Paul, you almost had me convinced to turn my life to this Jesus. I pray you're convinced tonight, and if you're not convinced, I pray that you find that convincing, for we seek to persuade men to follow after the Lord Jesus Christ, to follow the gospel of Jesus Christ, accept it, receive it. We persuade men to do this. That's what the preaching of the gospel is for, to turn hearts and minds to Jesus. At the end of Acts 27, verse 41 through 44, we know the ship had run aground. They got the ship back sailing and everything. And, and now, the, now the ship has uh, fell into a place where two seas met together. They ran the ship aground. And the forepart stuck fast and remained unmovable. But the hinder part was broken with the violence of the waves. So the front of this ship is stuck. They ran it aground, stuck fast. The front was stuck, unmovable. It was just there. And the waves came. And they beat against the back part of the ship. They beat violently, these waves, upon where these two seas met together. Imagine that. The soldiers' counsel was to kill the prisoners, lest any of them should swim out and escape. But the centurion... Willing to save Paul, kept them from their purpose and commanded that they which could swim should cast themselves first into the sea and get to land. So those, (laughs) hallelujah, that's when you know you're a Pentecostal baby, hallelujah, sleep and plumb snore while your daddy's a preaching, (laughs) hallelujah, hallelujah. The centurion, he was willing to save Paul. He kept them from their purpose. You're not going to kill any man. Every man's going to survive and every man's going to live. Again, them that could swim, you're going to get off first and you're going to throw yourself into the sea and you're going to get the land. And this is what I feel stuck on by the Holy Ghost here. And the rest, some on boards and some on broken pieces of the ship. And so it came to pass that they escaped all safe to land. Now preach quickly on this topic tonight. Stay afloat. Stay afloat. I don't care what you've got to do in your walk with Christ to stay afloat. Stay afloat. Hallelujah. There's a many waves of doctrine that are coming that are contrary to man, that are contrary to this gospel, contrary to the word, contrary to the church, contrary to the gospel of Jesus Christ, to God Himself. These, a lot of these doctrines are contrary to, to, to the teaching that we've always had and we've always learned. Don't be thrown away with the first wave that comes by you. You anchor yourself down. You hold on. Do what you've got to do. But church, I am encouraging you, challenging you, quickening you and warning you tonight by the Holy Ghost anointing to stay afloat. 
I've come too far to turn back now. Not going to throw in the white flag of surrender. I surrender to Jesus. And I said as we sing that song, I will serve him till I die. Yes, I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I told the Lord that I will go with you. I will trust with you. I trust in you. Trust you with my life. And praise God, I'm not surrendering to no demon of hell this far into the journey, but this close to the ending. Hallelujah. My name has been snapped out of the of the pit of hell and been written down in glory praise God he brought me out of the darkness and into his marvelous life he set my feet upon a rock he established my goings glory to God I am a peculiar people I am a part of an holy nation I am one that is zealous of the Lord of good works but zealous of God's works hallelujah and I'm showing forth the praises of him who has hath called me out of that darkness and into his life. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Whatever you've got to get a hold of. If you've got to get a hold of a board, get a hold of a board. If you've got to find a piece that's a broken piece of the ship, get a piece of the uh, a broken piece of the ship and hold on. Land is in sight. Glory to God. I believe that we can hear the captain hollering, "Land ahoy!" Glory to God. Land is in sight. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I believe it with all my heart. Psalms 120 and 1, In my distress I cried unto the Lord, and He heard me. Psalm 121 and 1, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. Psalm 124 and 1, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, How many could give a wave offering to the Lord and signify with that verse tonight? Lord, if it had not been for the Lord, for you who was by my side in this event, by my side in that event, by my side in that hospital, by my side, hallelujah, on the side of that road, if it had not been for the Lord on my side at work, in my home, glory to God hallelujah now may Israel say but now may I say now may the church say if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side Psalm 141 and 1 Lord I cry unto thee make haste unto me give ear unto my voice when I cry unto thee cry unto the Lord Tell him to give ear unto your voice. He's already listening. That's you sounding out faith. And it's all right to cry out unto the Lord. Stay afloat. Stay afloat. Praise God. Hallelujah. Just stay afloat. The Bible says that our now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed. We said it this morning, but Jesus told us that to endure to the end. If we endure to the end, the same's going to be saved. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hold fast what you have. See that no man take your crown. It's time to get rooted. Time to get grounded. It's time for the church to get her eyes off of this world and get her eyes on glory and to make herself presentable unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Turning to Jesus Christ is the only way to do that. But the Bible talks about now the bride hath made herself ready. What are you doing to get yourself ready for the coming of the Lord? Have you got your wedding garments home? Have you got them pressed? Is there any wrinkle inside of your garment? Is there any spot? Is there any blemish inside of you? Have you been washed in the blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb of God? Have you been to Calvary? Are you embracing the cross? Have you found Jesus, hallelujah, that He died for you? Have you found Him that He rose for you? Have you found Him that He ascended for you? I just came by to preach a little bit tonight. Hallelujah, to hold on to what you have. It's almost over. We're going Going home here in just a little while. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Glory. Hallelujah. The devil's in overdrive. He knows he don't have but a short while. You better watch that sneaky thing. 
He'll shoot at you from the back side, from the right side, the left side, the front side, the bottom side, and from the top side. You better have your heart guarded and guarded well. For out of it are the issues of life. Glory to God. Jesus said don't be caught up in surfeiting drunkenness or riotings. Cares of this life. Lest that day come upon you unaware. Whoo, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love when the disciples got into the ship with Jesus and they set sail. And we know that there were many ships there, but if we back into the beginning of what starts that segment of that chapter, Jesus said what we should put our faith in, what they should have put their faith in. Jesus said, let us go to the other side. He didn't say go over there and meet me. He didn't say go on over there. We'll catch up in a little while, a couple of days, what have you. He said let us go to the other side. Hallelujah. He's still in the boat. Hallelujah. He's still with us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I might be... <laughs> I might be going down, but I'm going down with Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to hold on to him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. With all my heart, with all my life, with all my trust, all my soul, all my being, I'm going to hold on to Jesus. Glory to God. They sent away the multitude and, and, and the, him, the, him, he got in the ship with them. We know that there arose a great storm of wind. The waves beat into the ship. Imagine sailing. Here comes a great storm. And it was a storm of wind and blowing them off course. How many of you tonight feel like you're being blown off course? You don't know, don't, don't know how to get your bearings right. You don't know which way to go. Hallelujah. Don't know which way the Lord said. I know it's somebody you answer in a minute maybe praise God testify of it hallelujah but, 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 but then the waves beat into the ship not only were they blown side to side here there yonder the waves began to come into the ship and it says so that it was now full he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awake him and say unto him master carest thou not that we perish and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace be still, peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. Jesus can still come to the front of your boat if you'll let him up there. <laughs> Woo, glory. He can still lift his hands up. And rebuke the wind and say, peace, be still. The wind ceased. There was a great calm. It can still happen in your life. And he said unto them, why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said one to another, What manner of man is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? What manner of Man is this. Why are you so fearful? Have you forgotten that Jesus is the captain? Have you forgotten that Jesus is more than able? That He's a very present help? That He is your refuge and your strength? Have you forgotten that He's the one that looketh upon you? He sees you. He walks with you. He talks with you. He's always there for you. In the midnight hour, He's the one that comes walking on water. He's your lifeguard. He's the fourth watch of the night all by Himself. He don't need no help. And He's always there for you to call upon. Hallelujah. Paul stood in 2 Corinthians and he told about the the journeys that he had been on, he said, thrice, three times was I beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Thrice, three times I suffered shipwreck. 
A night and a day have I been in the deep. But Paul was able to stand and say, I've overcome it all. I've overcome it all. You need to forget what happened yesterday and get it under the blood of Jesus. But you also need to remember the storms that you've been through and that how God was there with you, hallelujah, until the rainbow shone on your life. God was right there in the midst of the storm. He's the eye of the storm. Hallelujah. He's the calmness. He's the safety in the midst of your storm. Hallelujah. Paul prayed for the Lord. He he besought the Lord thrice. He prayed three times that it might depart from him this thorn that had been in his flesh. And how the messenger of Satan had come to buffet him. To try him, tempt him, push him, oppress him. Worry him, bother him, trouble him. The Lord said, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. Paul says, for this thing I besought the Lord thrice that it might depart from me. And he said unto me. 2 Corinthians 12 and 9, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in mine infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. That takes something. When you're able to stand and to praise God for your weakness. To praise God for the infirmity. Because you know that the power of Christ is resting upon you. It says, therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then am I strong. I just want to thank God for every weak time that I've been in. Because when I didn't think I was going to make it, I knew then that I was strong. Hallelujah. Whoo, glory. When I was in the nine hour and it was so long and I didn't think I'd see the dawn of a new day. Hallelujah to God. In that weakness, I was strong. Praise God. The power of Christ was resting upon me. Hallelujah to God. Every tragedy that I have walked through in my life with our family and with friends and with church family, when I'm I'm not ashamed to admit that there's been times I didn't know how to pray, I didn't know how to comfort, I didn't know how to witness to certain things that we were walking through together but my God by the grace of God I know now that when I was weak then then I was strong hallelujah glory to God for the Lord led me out there's never been a long night that the Lord didn't walk with me through it hallelujah there's never been a valley that the Lord won't right there there's never been a hilltop climbing that the Lord was not there there's never been a fiery furnace that the Lord was not in the flames with me there's never been a deep river that the Lord was not swimming right on alongside me. Hallelujah. There's never been a bottom. There's never been a top. That the Lord was not with me. Hallelujah. Never, never, never in my life can I say that the Lord was not by my side. Glory. Hallelujah. God. Thank you for grace. Thank you for grace that is sufficient unto me. Psalm 69, 1 through 3. David cried out, Save me, O God. Save me, O God. For the waters are come in unto my soul. God, I feel like I'm drowning. God, I don't think I'm going to make it. You've got to help me. Save me. I sink in deep mire. The quicksand has got me. It's pulling me under. 
I don't know if I'll get out of this mess that I'm in. I sink in deep mire where there is no standing. God, I can't even stand anymore. Help me. I've been knocked down. Help me. I am come into deep waters where the floods overflow me. God, I'm so deep that my feet can't even find the bottom. I'm barely staying afloat here. Help me. Save me, oh my God. Save me. Show up in this storm. Show up in this tragedy. I need you, Lord. Don't withhold yourself from me. Don't hide your face from me. Don't turn your ear from me. Let me see your hand that is not short and that it cannot save. Let me see your hand sweep down, oh Lord. God, wave after wave after wave after wave. I can't hardly catch my breath. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I just feel like surrendering to the enemy. Have you ever been there and done that? I am weary of my crying, Lord. I've cried till I'm out of tears. I'm out of water in my eye socket. My throat is dried. I've called out to you so much. I've got spiritual hoarseness. Mine eyes fail. God, I'm losing hope. God, I'm losing sight. I'm losing the will to make it. I'm losing hope that I'll ever survive this. Mine eyes fail while I wait for my God. Maybe you feel like you're stuck. And the ship you're sailing in right now, the ride that you're on, you know it ain't going to make it to ground, make it to land safely. Maybe you feel that the Lord is telling you it's time to get out and float. God will be with you. I have felt at times in life that I was floating on, on whatever I could find to float on. I was barely holding on, but barely holding on is still holding on. Barely making it is still making it. Barely breathing is breathing. Barely surviving is surviving. Hallelujah. Get a hold of whatever you've got to get a hold of. And stay afloat. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. Hallelujah. You ain't got it yet. I said you're going to make it. I'm talking to you that are in a trial right now. You're going to make it. To you that are in a storm right now, you're going to make it. To you that are in a midnight hour, you're going to make it. You're going to survive. You will survive. You will see land. Hallelujah. You will not die. You will not drown. You will not perish in this. Hold on, child of God. It's almost over. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're going to make it. But you've got to stay afloat. Hallelujah. I love how the Lord works. I had this. Laying over here, and Sister Kay got up here, and she flipped open. I said, uh-oh, hallelujah. I said, told her, I said, save that for the end. <laughs> Praise God. How many can, this altar's open. I believe that the Lord's going to give somebody a breakthrough tonight. Hallelujah. We need, we need plenty of time, ample time here in this altar. But I believe God's going to do something for you. I believe that God is going to show you that you're going to make it. You're going to survive. 
And I believe He's going to give you something to hold on to that you're going to stay afloat. Hallelujah. I don't care how deep the water is. I know my God. I don't care how hot the flames are, how high the flames are. I know my God. I don't care how long the night is, I know my God. Hallelujah. I don't care how long the trial is, how long the road is. Hallelujah. I know my God. I may not know the end. I may not know the finish line. But this I do know. I'm in a straight betwixt two. Having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. Hallelujah to God. If I don't make it here, I know that I'm a blood-bought, blood-washed, sanctified child of the Most High God. And I'm a winner either way. If I go or if I stay, I'll still have my Jesus each passing day. I'll have a healing here below or life forever if I go. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hell, hear me out good tonight. I said, oh, praise the Lord. I'm a winner either way. I'm going to make it to the end. Glory to God. How many could stand and testify? Sister Kay, come on and you, you, you come on and y'all, y'all sing that. Do, do whatever I'm trying to say. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord. But listen, hang on just a minute. I got to find it here. Listen with this. Through many dangers, tolls and snares, I have, you have already come. <laughs> Tis grace hath brought. Be safe thus far. Oh, and that grace in will lead me home. Go to verse one. Hallelujah. 